Oh my gosh, guys, you're not going to believe what just happened. We have a Stingray baby. I don't know if she's going to have any more or not, but oh my gosh, I am so excited. I cannot wait to show you this, guys. This is so awesome. I just come home. I've been gone all day. I knew that she'd probably start popping when I'm gone, but we're going to see if she has any more. Her belly has went down quite a bit, so I don't know if she has any more or not. One could have been all that she had. I don't know. But we'll keep a close eye on her. But guys, check this adorable stingray out. Oh my God, I have goosebumps. This is the reason why I got into the hobby with stingrays. And I wanted to breed them. And I finally did it. Let's check them out. So what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to bring this video to you guys today. This is something that I've been working on for a while and something I've wanted to do in this hobby for an extremely long time. Today is the day that this actually happens and I can't wait to share this with you guys. This is going to be so special uh, to me and I hope it's just as special to you guys to see this. It's just a beautiful thing. If you've been following me for a while, especially on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave a link down in the description. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have a pregnant female stingray and you know that babies are soon on the way as I've been giving updates through there, kind of giving you guys an idea of what's going on uh, and following the mother's pregnancy as well. But today is the day that my dream has come true and I get to experience this with you guys. This is something that I'm kind of at a loss of words for. I mean, it gives me goosebumps just talking about this. Um, that's how big of a deal this is to me. And it's a pretty challenging deal too. There's not a ton of people that can do this and I was able to do this. Um, you know, I take pride in everything that I do, taking care of my fish and stingrays and everything that I have to get to this point. It can be difficult, but we did it guys, we did it. I want you guys to check it out and enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you guys got names for the baby stingrays, let me know. I'd like to hear them down below. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right guys, there is the little baby. Look at that spotting. Isn't he or she precious looking? Wow. He's definitely got the black of the dad which is really cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm shaking, guys. This is all on the spur. You guys are seeing this right along with me. I just ripped the tops off of the pond and just threw them everywhere because I saw one. And there, he or she is. We'll have to get a closer look at her. As you can tell, I'm tiny. Maybe three and a half, four inches, but swimming around good. No deformities. Perfect. A lot of times with stingrays, you get, you know, some that don't make it that are stillborn or, you know, have uh, all kinds of issues. This one looks super healthy and is very active. There it goes over there by the bubbler. Oh my goodness, guys. Let me go ahead, get him separated from the big fish. There's big mama next to him. As you can see the black dot over there, that's him. <laughs> this is so cool, guys. And we'll look at mom here. You can tell that her tummies went down quite a bit. I don't know, she might have another one in there. Who knows, guys? She might have another one. I don't know. But either way, I'm super happy. But let's go ahead and take a look at the baby, get a close up, and see if we can tell its gender. Right here. Got him? Yeah. All right, guys, we got him in here. I'm gonna take him over. So now we have the baby in the container and can get a great look at her. She is beautiful, looks perfect. Uh, the reason why I'm separating is so we can keep a close eye on her 
and make sure that she eats this first week that she's born is very important and she couldn't compete with food with the other fish in the pond so that's why i have her separated and as you guys can tell she is very active swimming in the bubbles all around the container you can tell she's very happy to be out of the mom i'm sure it was very crammed up in there for her um but yeah we're going to get a good look at her under the water right up close brand new newborn baby now here's the side that we can tell the gender as you can tell from earlier i said she this is a she she has no claspers this is a female so we have a new baby girl added to the collection so now we're going to take a good close look at mom she still has a bump on the back of her so she might still be carrying some babies so we will have to wait and see she can give birth up to about the next week from this batch so it'll be interesting to see if any more stingray pups are born but if you look close enough i think we can see some movement i don't know guys what do you think do you think there's any more movement back there or is it just her moving around and we're seeing that so we'll have to wait and see if any more pups come up and see what they look like so it has been three days now since the precious little stingray pup has been born I have yet to get her on any food I have attempted to feed her shrimp and tilapia next will be live blood worms um, so hopefully we can get her started on to something they can go you know a week or so without food um, you know it's hard to get them on food once they are born because we're used to the mother feeding it um, but doing awesome very active I am extremely blessed with the stingray um, but this is day three after the birth um, and I do have some bad news guys my female gave birth again to another baby right but it was a preemie baby that wasn't fully developed I had to net it here I came home from work today and saw it floating in the pond and knew exactly what it was and that's just gut-wrenching I mean you have this especially from a first-time mom it's going to happen it's just a hard pill to swallow but as you can see this is the top of the stingray you can see that it wasn't fully developed you can almost see where the eyes would have been and then the tail back behind as you can see and let's see if we can flip it over yeah when you look here you can see its gill plates and mouth where it was formed as well but unfortunately this stingray did not make it so that is really sad but a lot of times first time moms this is all they have or stillborns or preemie babies like this that aren't fully developed she's doing awesome after the pregnancy she's been eating like a champ and swimming around like nothing's ever happened you know because it's a very stressful time for the female ray as well and dad's doing good they both are coming up to the tote very proud of the baby as you guys can see they do show her all kinds of attention which is nice now she can hold babies up for about a week so we'll keep an eye out if she has any more back here um, but i noticed when i dipped the camera under the pond for you guys after she gave birth to this one and i thought i could still see movement in her belly and this one could have been it here now normally a first time mom like what i have will only have about one to two babies so this might be it that she does have she's flattened out quite a bit now i don't even really see a bump anymore so this might be all that we get from her for her first batch but even with the bad news i am extremely pleased and happy look at her beautiful markings guys takes after the dad with the spotting which is just absolutely amazing and i can't wait to grow her out and you guys be able to follow her progress and how she develops as she gets older but she is just absolutely stunning guys uh, i mean i pictured what the babies were going to look like and what i pictured compared to what she is now it's 10 times better <laughs> This one exceeded my expectations quite a bit. But you're looking at a high quality hybrid sting right here of a Black Diamond Thousand Island and a Super Spot Light Base Matoro Stingray.
So I will keep you guys updated with future videos on her as she grows. My very first stinger that I ever bred has a special place in my heart. So she's not going anywhere. But I do have a lot of people in the comments asking me if I'm going to be selling the pups. Um, and the short answer is yes. Now, I'm not just going to sell them to anybody either. So, But yes, I, I will be selling some more of the future pups. But this one is all that she had. And this is mine. This is my price possession. Hard work has paid off. Wow, guys. I'm extremely happy. We'll keep a close eye on Mama and see if she has any more. But it's looking right now. She's flattened out. I don't think she's going to have any more. So... This is what we got, and I am very pleased with her. It is just amazing. Cannot believe I helped to create this. Oh, man. Kind of at a loss for words, guys. But, with all that being said, everybody's doing good in the pond. We'll let mom and dad catch up with the baby. We'll give them some peace and quiet. I'm getting ready to feed them. All right guys, so on day three, we finally got her to eat something. And how crazy is this? She is already eating pellets, guys. These are Hikari sinking pellets that she's eating. And this is very rare for a baby stingray to take up for its first meal. But as you can tell, she is in love with it. And you can get a really good look at her and how healthy she is and how good she looks. But look at her go to town. It's cute how she lifts her disc up in the front to eat. I've never seen that in any of my other rays before. <laughs> well, guys, what do you think? She's gorgeous, isn't she? We got a new addition to the Matt's Monster Fish family. This is just an awesome feeling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's a lot more to come from the Stingray breeding project that I'm going to do. But my very first attempt was a success. So I'm very pleased to be able to share all of this with you guys. And you guys can follow my journey with this as well. I'm going up to the Ohio Fish Rescue tonight. I am picking up something from there that is going to be crazy. I'm trading Josh a few of my fish for something that he has up there and it'll blow your guys' mind. I can't wait to show you that. That'll probably be the next video that I do post coming out here in a few days. With all that being said, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and make sure you subscribe and ding that notification bell. That way you do not miss another video and you can be some of the first to see some of the crazy stuff that I like to do here. Don't forget to like, comment, and share the videos. Help me grow, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.